slurping her water bowl. <laughs> uh, all right, so we ground. So middle of the week, and as we were saying, it is Earth Day, and it's a new moon in an Earth sign, which is Taurus. So lots of grounding Earth energy today to support that, kind of slowing down into a, a new pace that we're all getting used to. <clears throat> so feeling that tripod beneath you, your sitting bones, the base of your pelvis, your tailbone, and feel evenly balanced in between all of that. Feeling your foundation stable and secure and grounded. Feel that <clears throat> the earth alive beneath you as we honor the earth today. And really bring that into awareness. Really good day to be outside and just take notice of the rhythms and the patterns of nature, the beauty of nature that is always there. The earth just keeps doing its natural timing as it's beginning to wake up and bloom. Maybe just spend a little extra time paying attention, maybe being outside, doing some planting, weeding, just kind of get into the earth today. Feeling the low belly help us breathe. As we inhale, really feel the low belly expand. And exhale, pulling the belly in and clearing out the old. So again, it's a new moon. It's a really nice day to reset. Reset our intentions, reset our own minds, our focus. A few more, nice smooth, soft belly breathing. In and out of your nose if you can. And keeping that going for yourself. Also feel the opposite energy rising up through the crown of your head, making some space. Decompress. Rips the shoulders away from the ears. And just feel the balance in between our grounding, the root, but also the lifting energy rising up. And feel the balance in between at the heart. Take a few moments this morning to check into your heart and on the, the new moon let's clear out anything that's old that we can let go of forgive and clear and just make peace and filling in with those kind of opposite reactions and emotions of love and peace beauty joy You just set a little seed of new intention, new awareness to take us forward. And let's inhale, squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, squeeze them back and down. Roll out the shoulders a little bit, kind of massaging into the neck and the upper back. And just keep the shoulders down away from the ears, let's work the neck. So inhale, chin rises up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin down towards the chest. Let's work that. A few more times. And then turn that into some circles, inhaling, rising up, exhaling down the other side. Really lifting up more than back as you circle through. And 
switch directions. Get that opposite circle working through your neck. Back to the center. Take a deep breath here. And exhale, let's tip your right ear towards your right shoulder. Inhale, center. And exhale, other side. Just work this lateral movement. Use your exhale. Let's hold on the right side this time. You can take your right hand on your head, a little more weight. And the other arm can reach out, maybe back, maybe flex your fingers a little bit, and just breathe here. Down the neck, through the shoulder and arm. And then back to center, take a deep breath here. And exhale to the other side, same thing. Pulling a little bit longer, breathing, letting those strong muscles release a bit. Let's take our twist. So to your right first. Inhale, spiral up nice and tall. Exhale, belly strong. You're going to just ring out a little bit more. Looking over your right shoulder. Take three deep breaths. And then hold the twist, let's give the neck a little more stretch looking over your other shoulder. Breathe here. And then center the head, bring your back arm up, and then across this way, reaching through. You decide where your neck wants to look. Let that go, come back to center and just take a big breath up and down the middle, the twist unwind, and to the left. So inhaling, lifting up through the crown, and exhaling, belly nice and strong, rotate a little bit more through your ribs, the whole rib cage, your neck, your eyes. And again, oh, let's do that counter twist just to your neck. Couple breaths there. And center the head and now the back arm. Side body opening, breathing. Unwind again, and a few more little shoulder rolls just to work all of that out. Inhaling up, exhale, squeezing back and down. Good. So let's actually, I'm going to rotate, but stretch your legs out. And let's work into the, the ankles and the feet, your knees today. So find your staff pose, just feel nice and grounded through your belly and your back. So feeling balanced there. Ground through the legs, reach through the heels. And inhale, extend through the tops of your feet. Exhale, pull the toes back. Okay. 
two more, waking up the ankles. And then draw circles around. And reverse. And then let's work the outer ankles. So deep breath here. Exhale, wrap the soles towards each other. Inhale, opening. Exhale, around. One more time. Shake that out. And let's actually bring your right ankle to your left thigh and let's just give the foot a little massage this morning so you can kind of start at the heel and then the arch of the foot there might be some tender spots just kind of be aware it's just really good to work your feet and underneath the toes the toes themselves stimulating all of that good circulation and the reflexology is like when you massage your feet you massage your whole body connected to all of the body systems and then we can start at the base of the heel and just draw some straight lines with pretty good pressure through your thumbs all the way up to the top of each toe and then start at the bottom again drawing those nice long lines all the way up Just kind of massage the whole foot, even the top right underneath the toes. Good. <clears throat> and then just realign your knee right into your torso. And let's work the knee. Inhale, reach through, and feel that energy in that foot. Exhale, hug it in. Let's keep working. Last one, big inhale, reach, exhale, in. And now we're gonna hold on to our foot and knee and do a little rocking from your hip. Just to wake it up, warm it up. And then draw some circles, go deep into your hip. Exploring both directions, large and small circles. Good. And we'll kind of do the, the rocking the baby. So if this is enough for you, great. Or you can tuck the foot into your arm, kind of like you're cradling your shin like a baby. And take a deep breath and exhale. Maybe hug in a little closer. Well, let's keep this foot flexed, this one you're holding, both of them really. So we're informing our joints as we go a little deeper. And release a little as you inhale, and then use the exhale, to maybe stretch closer to the body and then angling also through your, your shin a little more parallel to the ground. Just as you can, be gentle. And then reset, give that knee a nice hug in, and let it go. Just kind of shake it out. And then for the other side, let's start with the foot massage. So again, we can kind of section out the, the foot, the heel, the arch, and then the toes, or underneath the toes. Just begin by just pressing pretty moderately into your feet, each region. And 
maybe pay attention to any tender spots that might feel like they're maybe a little stagnant energy sometimes. See if you can work through it a little bit. And then those nice long lines that start at the base of the heel and just kind of press all the way up through the foot all the way to the top of each toe and give it a little squeeze there. And then make sure you get the top of the foot kind of underneath the, the base of the toes. But <clears throat> great, and then let's re center the knee towards the torso. Then inhale, reach through the heel. <clears throat> then that foot might feel a little more alive. Exhale, hug in. One more. And then open up, keeping again this foot, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> flexed and engaged because you're holding on. So let's rock into your hip. All right, and then draw some circles, checking in on this side. Again, small circles. Full directions. Great. And then preparing for that little deeper stretch. Again, flex the foot. You can hook into the elbow or not. Just keep holding. Hold on to the other knee. Take an inhale, you can kind of release a bit, then exhale, see where you can go into this stretch. Again, inhale, make a little space. Exhale. Good, just hold and breathe here. Probably down that outer hip, <clears throat> deep into some layers, sometimes even into the back. And then release, again, just hug in right into the center and both legs out, shake them out. And let's even out here, inhale up through the center, exhale, tip just a little bit. Let's keep a little space in our knees. Inhale up, exhale, take that maybe a little deeper bow, tipping from the pelvis. And one more time, reaching up, exhale, find that edge, and then let your hands come down. Tuck your head, really root through your chin towards your chest. And then take some really big breaths into the whole back body. One more big inhale into the back body. Exhale, let go. And inhale, roll up, head up last. Let that breath go. And then tuck your ankles and float through to hands and knees. Great. We'll just work some of those cat stretches here. Inhale, drop your belly and look up. And exhale opposite as you press into the mat. Let's do three more rounds. Checking in all the way up the front and then all the way down your back.
back to center. Take a hand step forward. Inhale, drop the torso forward and exhale around. So you can get into the outer hips and the low back. Let the pelvis be free to move. And then reverse, let the body move in that opposite spiral around. And then meet back in center. Right toes to the back of your mat, so stretch through. And have a nice bend in your elbows. Let's inhale, lift the right leg, look up. And exhale, find your strength to pull the knee in towards your head. Do three more. Last one. Exhale, curl it in. Let's find our balance. So reach through that <clears throat> heel, reach through, press through the toes. Opposite arm forward, find your balance, find the center and strength of your body. Take one more big breath, reach, and let go. Cat stretch. Center. Other side. So left toes back. Stretch through that long line from your hip through the heel. And then the movement for the hip. Inhale, lift, expand the front of the hip. Exhale, round in. And three more. Reaching straight back, flex that foot. Opposite arm extends forward. Long line, feel strong. Use the lifted like glutes and quads. So the extended arms, triceps, so those upper arm muscles are active to reach through the elbow. Good, and release. Enjoy that big stretch. Center. Inhale here and exhale. Let's just bow back into a child's pose. You can make more space between your knees if you want to. And let your head come down. Three deep breaths here. Let's come into downward facing dog. Inhale into tabletop and exhale. Lift your hips up and allow your head to hang. Settle through your feet and your knees a little bit here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together even here to open up the heart as we hang. Release your head, the chance to just really let go of any effort in your neck, your face, your jaw. And take a walk to the front of the mat, arriving in a standing forward fold. And inhale, roll up slowly. In a really grounded base, both feet ground, tailbone grounds. Finding mountain pose, Tadasana. Check in with your feet, you feel even. Grounding through all the corners of your feet. 
or maybe you're feeling a little lift in your arches, activating. Relax your shoulders back and down. And just notice the balance in yourself, grounding, lifting, and the heart is center. So we'll go through some moon salutations today, but like super slowly. Each pose will hold for about three breaths. Just to really feel that grounded, kind of slower energy. So feeling rooted here, let's inhale to a little back bend. So it's grounding your tailbone, glutes are strong, and lift a little bit more through your heart, looking up at the ceiling. And as you collapse your neck back, lifting from your heart, Then exhale into our forward fold. We'll take three deep breaths. Belly is strong. Release your head. Shake it out a bit. Great. And then the next is our balancing squats. So this is really nice for our focus and grounding. Hands can stay on the floor or on your legs or even on your heart. Let's take a few more breaths here, feeling really settled through our foundation. Feeling no balance, you got it. And then low lunge. So left leg goes back, your knee and foot to the mat. And let's just hang with the, the hands at the floor for a breath here, sinking into the hips. And then reaching up, use the back leg glutes for stability. Be strong there, so sinking into the front of the hip, lifting from the sides. So long sides, up for the arms, super grounded into the hips. Nice, and then release. And it's a big step back. <laughs> Slide that leg back to align both knees. So from here, it's a little different back bend. We still feel rooted in the, the tailbone. The glutes are strong. We kind of press the hips forward and then find a little lift. So it's really strong in your back, lifting from the heart. Look up. Good. One more big breath. And exhale, slowly bow to child's pose. We'll take three breaths here. And re anchoring and grounding your tailbone with an awareness of the back of your body. We're learning more about the back of the lungs. So much more space for breath there to access. So feel expansive breath to the back of the lungs. You can slide through the arms onto the belly <clears throat> for a little cobra. So being in this prone position, again, that we're hearing a lot about, really giving space for the lungs, the back of the lungs, all that surface area, hands under the shoulders. Let's feel grounded through the, the hips, the legs, the feet, really heavy part of the body, pressing down. Then we can lift. Lift your heart, lift your head, take a few deep breaths. Really not even any pressure in your hands, really use the strength of your back. One more breath. And then we'll press back into child's pose again to get that counter pose for your low back, stretching, anchoring the tailbone, head to the mat. And then we'll rise up to the knees again for that little kneeling back bend. So root the tailbone and down through your legs and feet. And then we'll reach. Lots of awareness of the whole kind of rib cage space, heart center, lungs. 
Give everything space. One more big expansive inhale. And then exhale, just release to neutral. Hands to the hips, and we'll take the left leg forward into the lunge this time. So sinking in. Squeeze the back leg glutes, so right leg is strong, so you can sink in to the front of that right hip. Those hip flexors are the ones that get tight when you sit of your hip into the back. And we'll add the lift again, that reaching up, countering the grounding down. And you feel balanced in between. One more breath. And then let the arms float. We're going to step forward into our balancing squat again. So take that big step, settle, and circulation into the knees here. Hands to the legs, to the heart. Take a few breaths just to settle in. Being grounded. And then we will fold, exhale to your forward fold. A few breaths here and check in. Again, have you totally released your head? Can you tuck that chin in a little bit more? And then inhale, roll up. Let's take the arms up, a little back bend, and back to your heart. You can take a big breath here. Let it go. Let's do one more round. <clears throat> so arms at your sides. Inhaling, find the back bend. So strong in your back, grounded tailbone, legs and feet, lifted heart. One more breath. And exhale, forward fold, three deep breaths. Balancing squat, three deep breaths, settling, grounding, also feeling that lift through the crown. Great. Let's take right leg back this time where we just were. Grounded, low lunge. Let's take a breath here. Sink into the hips. Then reach up. Rooting down, feeling light, lifted through the heart. Great. Love the arms. Let's take that big step back, align your knees. Inhale to your back bend here. Three deep breaths. Ground your foundation. Lift the heart. Look With an exhale, slowly float to child's pose. Take your time stretching the back body. Again, awareness of the whole back of the lung space. And looking forward, three deep breaths into our cobra. So slide through, ground. Inhale to lift, three deep breaths. And then release, press back to child's pose, and three breaths here. Inhale to the sky. Grounding. Again, glutes are strong. 
root your tailbone, find those strong legs to press forward to lift a little bit more. Use the arms, right leg goes forward, sinking a little deeper, and back leg glutes are strong, sink in, and then feel the lift. Big inhale to reach. And arms release. We'll take our big step forward into the squat. Couple more breaths here. Focus and breath. Nice. And then forward fold. Three nice big breaths. Lengthening all the way down your back. Inhale, rolling up, reaching up one little back bend, and back to your heart. Feel your breath, feel the body a little, a little more awake, but nice and calm and grounded. Then hands to your hips, I'm going to turn. Since it is Earth Day, let's work a little tree pose. Feeling that grounded energy balance is really good for us. So let's subtly just kind of shift to your right leg without kind of swaying into your hip. Let's try to stay balanced and level. And let's work our left knee a few times. So from the hip, just slow movement from the hip. And then we can open from your hip and place that foot somewhere, the branch of your tree, like a kickstand or on the thigh, but don't put pressure on your knee. So find somewhere that works for you, keeping the pelvis level and open. And the standing like the trunk side, use the glutes, use your, your quads, the thigh of the standing leg and really feel strong and balanced. And keep your hands at your hips if that feels good, maybe to your heart, or maybe up, maybe open. Imagine maybe you can see a tree from your window. Take your roots deep into the earth, connect with that grounding, nurturing energy, connecting with the pace of nature, that natural timing. And slow down a little bit. One more breath or two. Feel both the grounding and the lifting up towards the sun. All that good energy into you today. Soak it up. And coming down slowly if you can, just keeping that balance. Release. A little wider stance and a little movement. And then back to center. Same thing to the other side. So keeping balance. Left leg is your trunk this time. So again, feel the muscles, the strong muscles in the, the thigh, the quads, and the glutes. Keeping the pelvis level as we begin to play with balance it's on this side. And opening from the hip, settling the roots. And however you want to grow into your tree on this side. Days. You can test your balance if you're really feeling grounded. Close your eyes for a few breaths. So maybe lift your 
toes that you're working with. So you're not gripping the toes, just feel the whole base of the foot, whole body really working together. Honoring the energy of the earth. through when you feel complete no rush let go and again just let that go good and let's even that out so let's take a wider stance with your feet and for our shoulders let's actually clasp the hands behind us today so find the palms of your hands Bend your elbows a little bit. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale here. Lift your heart. So you're going to find a little back bend as we stand. Nice expansion for the breath. Then exhale. Take a slow bow forward. Let your arms stretch above you if that feels good, wherever they can go. Really release your, your chin towards your chest. Maybe you can just kind of rock it out a little bit side to side. Inhale, rise up slowly, root the feet, tailbone, rising up, lift your heart, and center, release the arms, hands, rotate the wrists. Great. And then just toe heel in a little bit. Let's make our way down for a different squat this time, the garland pose. So if you can, Lead with your tailbone and come down. Let's really get grounded here, even through both feet if you can. Do what you can. A really earthy pose. Root your tailbone into those hips. And then we'll take a seat. Actually go right into the butterfly or the bound angle. Pressing the soles of your feet together the hips in a different way so really feel strength in the outer hips here helping open up lift your heart lift your head deep breath here exhale maybe you can bow forward maybe just a little bit we'll do a few more breaths let some softness come with every exhale more big inhale exhale surrender a little bit more head heart bowing and slowly rise inhale let that breath go and let's make a v on the floor so adjust kind of like you were just standing this time anchor both heels you can kind of tip the pelvis forward a bit. And then let's take the middle space. Inhale here and exhale. Just take a slow bow. Trying to tip from your pelvis and activate both through the legs. So the quads are strong here. We reach through the feet, the heels. more breath. Inhale, walking up slowly. Take a breath at the top. And bring the legs back together. Let's do one more just to even that out. 
foot in and on the arms. And exhale, take your hinge forward and down over both legs, release your head. Enjoy one more big breath. Again, expanding the back of the lungs, all that big space, release. Elbow up, exhale at the top, and then roll yourself down onto your back, so take your time, use some strength to roll down. When you get there, let's bring our knees into your body. Draw some circles, massage your back. Both directions. And here, let's prepare for just one more twist. Take your feet back to the mat. Let's scoot our hips to the left, the knees up and then over to the right. Let your left arm be grounded, looking up at the ceiling or over your left arm. Let the legs be heavy. Just a nice gentle recline twist. And unwind back to center, center the hips, and then to the other side. So hips to the right, knees up and over, grounding to the left. Reach your right arm wide, keeping the shoulder grounded as well as you can. Heavy hips, just ground here through the whole foundation, legs, feet. Upper body also grounded. And unwind slowly. Back to center, hug the knees in. Take a big breath here, exhale, curl yourself into a tiny little ball. A couple more, deep breath, exhale, curl. And then let's stretch long into Shavasana, so the final pose, just to let it all go. Walk your legs pretty wide towards those edges of your mat. Let's give the palms a nice flip up towards the ceiling. Let's lift from behind your heart, even here. Soften your, the back of your head into the mat, the earth. And just let go of any sort of effort. If you notice any muscles working actively, just soften there. And let the earth support you. Let's pretend like we are lying beautiful grassy field, soft earth beneath you. And then beautiful sky above you. Sun is shining. And just soak up all of the healing energy around you from the earth, from the sun, the fresh breeze blowing clean air. And know that all of those elements are within you as well. We have the earth, the water, the fire, the air, all in different balance. Just merging with the earth, nature, knowing that we are all 
connected. Rest in this peace and balance. few more moments to rest in balance, feeling the support of the earth as we let go. A few breaths from your heart, sending love and compassion, peace, healing from your heart out to the earth. And then waken your body up really gentle, fingers and toes. Wrists and ankles begin to move. And give yourself a big stretch into this new day, new moon, new intentions, fresh start. And just roll to one side, take a pause. Close. Closing with an omen three shanties, sending peace, peace from our practice outward all around the world so that all beings may benefit. Sending peace to our communities, our states, our country that everyone may benefit. And fill yourself for a fresh, peaceful start to your day. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Joining me. Namaste.